The Material and Trading Worlds circa 1400 Chapter 1 examines the system, which existed around 1400 and significantly influenced the modern world. The major issues discussed are the economic, social, and environmental conditions of that period, and various concepts, which contributed to the economic and social development of the society. These concepts are the rise of civilization, agricultural revolution, relationships between administrative units of different sizes, and hierarchical nuances. This chapter of the book combines the mentioned parts of the discussion in the one global definition that is biological old regime within which the period is examined. The major points, which intended to show the magnitude of the developments that occurred, are described. The population size is compared to the modern one and a discussion of its growth is provided. The influence of climate and its changes consequences are examined, along with an explanation of wildlife contributes to the life of people of that period. The nitrogen cycle, its significance, and the effects of global diseases are discussed. Starting with China History shows that Asian countries had a significant influence on the world trading system development. Therefore, Chapter 2 examines interactions and interdependencies between China, India, the Islamic world, Africa, and Europe. For many reasons, none of the countries are capable of producing all resources, materials, and good citizens require. The book provides instances where the first two regions, which had a technological advantage, became suppliers of valuable resources such as silk, porcelain, and cotton textiles. Chapter 1 describes how different societies built economic relationships, outlines necessities for it, and explains various outcomes. Empires, States, and the New World Chapter 3 examines the period from 1500 to 1775, discussing extensive processes, which contributed to the economically united world in general, linking previously divided regions. These phenomena, outlined in the chapter, are Christopher Columbus's voyage, which opened the New World, the growth of empires throughout Eurasia, the growth of the sovereign status system, and the global crisis. Within this scope, other concepts, which influence the process of modern world forming, are discussed. The political dimension, which includes the rise of empires, different regions' expansion, and the explanation of these events' consequences, are outlined. The chapter further examines America's conquest and how it influenced global economic processes, the role of silver in the world market, and labor supply problems. In addition, the chapter discusses the new world economy, based on significant phenomena of that time, which are sugar production and distribution. The other substantial processes explained are the exploitation of African Americans called slavery and ecological problems and diseases caused by them. Early modern world creating, changes in the society related to the global crisis, mercantilism, and state building are also examined. The Industrial Revolution and its Consequences The Chapter 4 examines the period from 1750 to 1850 known for the global process called the Industrial Revolution. The productivity of the economy was limited to the workers' effectiveness, but the development of industrial machines raised production opportunities to new levels, which is described in this chapter. The different natural resources, sources of energy, new types of products, and their influence on the community are discussed. The Gap Chapter 5 examines a phenomenon called the gap, which implies the difference between the West countries, known as underdeveloped ones, and Europe's more advanced region. This issue was a result of the low level of industrialization of China and India. The chapter shows the magnitude of this gap, discusses its premises and outcomes. An economic state of a variety of counties, new dynamics of working processes, and the adverse negative consequences of industrialization are also examined in this chapter. The Great Departure This chapter examines the period of the 20th century and beyond, describing events that complemented technological changes, influencing global economics. It consists of four chapters, which outline a variety of processes and concepts. 
World wars, global revolutions, crises, and their premises and consequences are discussed. Further, global inequality, the issue of globalization, deterritorialization, and the problem of energy consumption are examined to show the most significant factors in contemporary economics. The chapter ends with an explanation of the phenomenon called Anthropocene and its influence on the modern world forming. Critique The book The Origins of the Modern World is a comprehensive source of well-structured information which embraces the period from the 15th to the 21st century. Six chapters of the book are precisely focused on researching the significant processes, developments, and events contributing to the modern world forming. The data is coherent enough, with the presence of certain inconsistencies, which can be tracked in chapters 2 and 3, as a sequence of presentation creates a feeling of minor confusion. The storytelling method mainly focuses on facts outlining, which is informative, easy to follow, but not enjoyable. Most presented arguments are well-supported and convincing enough, despite the occasional scarcity of complementary data. StudyCorgi.com has everything you need for successful studies. Writing tools, informative articles, and essay samples. Come check it out!